So we're going to be making use of the Anaconda open source data science platform. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it on Windows 10. My advice would be you just follow along with me. Um, it's not particularly complicated. And if you didn't, if you installed software before, I'm sure it'll be straightforward. There's another video uh, that I'm going to make about doing this on a Mac. So um, here we go. Uh, we're going to use a web browser and go to the um, www.anaconda, like the snake, .com website. Um, and look up here at products and go to the individual edition open source data science distribution. Click on download and choose the 64-bit graphical installer. If you have an older computer, you might have to choose the 32-bit one, but hopefully, um, hopefully not. Um, takes a little while to download, not too long. Then uh, once you've got it, you track down the file that you downloaded. If you're using Firefox, it could be in your downloads folder and uh, open it, double click it or click it or whatever the correct thing is, depending on where the file is and then walk through the installation, accepting all of the defaults. Okay, so once you um, get through that, uh, all the downloading and setting up, with luck, you are finished. Now, uh, let's make sure it actually worked. So to do that, we go to the Start menu and look for Anaconda Navigator. Hopefully that's been installed. Anaconda Navigator is the front end to um, the software that you've just installed. If you're an expert, there are other ways to do this um, without going through Navigator using the command line or by creating uh, desktop shortcuts. Um, I'm not going to explain that if you're an expert, then presumably you will be able to figure that out on your own. Now you're going to get this menu of tools that you've installed. And the one that I want to test to make sure it works is Jupyter Lab. So find Jupyter Lab and launch it. And it should bring up a window like this. It's, it's actually running in your web browser. So um, what you're seeing here on the left is your home directory. These are the folders in your home directory on your machine. And then these are the tools that are uh, bundled up in the Jupyter environment. So what I would recommend doing is to create a new folder for the course Math 3094. And then if you double click on that, you open that folder. And now just to make sure this works, we're going to launch a Jupyter Notebook and make sure that it runs. So to do that, you either can go to this. Um, I guess you don't need to do that. Just click on Python 3 and you'll get what's called a Jupyter Notebook environment. And it always is going to open with the name Untitled, which is not a good name. Uh, if you right click on Untitled and choose Rename, you can name the notebook something useful like Test Notebook. And now, just to make sure this is working, and I'll have more information on how to use this environment later, click in this cell and type the command 50 times 50 and hit Shift Enter. Not just Enter, but Shift Enter. And hopefully you will get the answer. 50 times 50 is 2,500. And if that's working, then you've successfully installed Jupyter Notebook and the Jupyter Lab environment. And later on, if you so to quit, you can just close out of the window. I suppose if you want to save this, you can click on Save, then quit out of the window. And now later on, if you want to run this again, 
you would go back to the Anaconda Navigator and choose Jupiter Lab.